Hey there my friends, today we're going to discuss the if, else, statement, and C. So let me maximize my editor, and as you may have noticed, I have created a new file, ex20 underscore if, else, statement, dot C. And I have also added this ahead of time. So the if, else, statement can include an optional else clause that executes statements when an expression is false. So, for example, let me create an example for you. So, let me create a variable int. Uh, let's just put a score. Int variable score is equal to 87. And if score is greater than or equal to 90. 90. So, we're going to print, we're going to display this on the screen, so print f, top 10, and then let's put this, a new line at the end, else, if it's not true, then we have the else statement, so if the first statement is not correct, then print this statement instead. Less than 90. And then a new line at the end. So don't forget to put the semicolon. So let's go ahead and run this. So before we run this, uh, this program evaluates the expression and then executes the else clause. So we... So this is this will be this line will be printed out because I this program is evaluates evaluates the expression and then it, and then executes the else, the else clause since we already know how to use the if uh, statement in the previous video so the, the focus of this is the else statement so let's go ahead and run this compile and run and it's less than 90 which is correct now again I just want to make and just want to include this if you have multiple statements then make sure to use then make sure to put it inside the curly brackets so that you'll not get any error so it's going to look like this if you have two statements, two or more statements. So like for example like this, you have statements like this, three or four. So make sure to put it inside the cur these curly brackets. The same goes with the else statement, so make sure that you put it inside these curly brackets. But since I am only using one statement, so there's no need for me to use this. So I'm just going to delete this. It's it's not necessary to put a curly brackets if you're just using one statement. So you might be asking why why do I why do I have to put uh, two um, two percent sign in this line? Well, it's because a single single percent denotes a data specifier or data specifier. So, for example, percent D or decimal percent F for uh, floating point. So, in order to avoid uh, compilation error confusion for the compiler, I use the double uh, percent sign in here to print to print uh, the percent if. If I uh, if I want to run this, but since this is the one run on the screen, this is the one uh, displayed on the screen because this is all about the print the else statement. And that's it. And before we wrap up, let's test your knowledge. I have here a little ex a little exercise for you on this tab on this yeah on this tab. So I have created this ahead of time, created a variable, and then 
I want you to fill in the blanks to print or to print more than 10 if the people variable is greater than or equal to 10. So print less than 10 if it's not. So as you can see there's a missing piece pieces in here that you need to fill in. So I want you to fill in and if you know the answer please put it in the comment section below. Thank you.